The Ukrainian military operation in the Kursk region of Russia demonstrated that the Russian army has many vulnerabilities. It also sent a political message to Kiev's allies that Ukraine is not doomed and can change the course of the war. CNN writes. The Ukrainian armed forces have shattered a growing consensus among Ukraine's supporters that it has little chance of recapturing much of its territory. In Kyiv's view, the Kursk operation shows that the Ukrainian army deserves continued, faster and better support from its allies because it could change the course of the war, the publication says. As retired Australian Army Major General Mick Ryan noted, the goal of the Ukrainian invasion is to show that a Russian victory is not inevitable and that Ukraine can fight and win. At the same time, he called on Ukraine's Western allies not only to maintain support, but also to further relax restrictions on the use of the transferred weapons. Ukraine has demonstrated once again that the various red lines projected by Putin are nothing more than a chimera designed to reinforce Western political timidity among making decisions about war, Ryan added. Mathieu Boulegu, a senior fellow at the Center for European Policy Analysis, believes the Kursk operation is a valuable way to test Putin's pain threshold and other forms of deterrence. However, as CNN writes, Ukraine would like to target airfields deep inside Russia with the same longer-range ATACMS missiles, but Washington seems reluctant to agree. However, the seizure of Russian territory improves Ukraine's position in any negotiations and also serves as insurance in case former President Donald Trump wins the U.S. election and tries to impose a peace settlement on Ukraine, the publication says. Recall that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the Kursk operation was the largest investment in the process of liberating Ukrainians from Russian captivity as well as crossing the reddest of all the red lines that exist in Russia. We now have an extremely important ideological change, namely the entire naive, illusory concept of the so-called red lines in relation to Russia which reigned in the assessment of the war by some partners, fell apart the other day somewhere near Sudza. Another 115 Ukrainian servicemen have returned from captivity as part of the exchange of prisoners with Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced this on his Telegram channel. Among those who returned from captivity, 82 are defenders of Mariupol, including 50 people who participated in the defense of Azovstal plant. Among those released are also six National Guard soldiers, soldiers of the armed forces and naval forces, three employees of the border service, guards of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, fighters participating in the defense of Kiev, Donetsk, Kherson and Luhansk regions in Hostomel. This time, the exchange took place through the mediation of the United Arab Emirates. Как я его привез? Да. Я его привез в кармане здесь. 
Порвал его, ну нашел его. Зачем ему там оставлять его? Редненький наш прапор до дома на Украине. Какие відчуття взагалі в тебе? Как сказать правильно? Их мы... Я не могу найти правильно подобрать слова.